everybody and welcome to a brand new video. So it's officially the new year, meaning that I'm having my big new year sort out. But because I'm having a sort out, it means I can also buy things. <laughs> Obviously. Girl math. Um, but in all seriousness, we do need a couple of things. Um, I'm going for the essentials, so uh, getting rid of things that have worn out over the past year. Bed sheets, socks, things like that, that you don't really tend to get rid of until you do a big clear out. But when I get rid of all my socks, I need new socks. Um, so we're going to go to Primark today. So let's go. Since watching Wish the other day, I just love the soundtrack. So this is my uh, playlist for the way to Leicester. I've made it. I think this is the closest parking spot I've ever had to Primark. So let's go in. So as we first walk in, it's all the sportswear. We've got all the gym leggings and sports bras, jumpers and trainers. Not really a bit of me, those trainers, to be honest, but I do like, I'm quite into these half zips at the moment and they're around everywhere, so that's good for me. I've never seen a gym jumpsuit before. Do people wear these? They get the long sleeve crop tops and the shorts and the leggings and things, but I've never seen a jumpsuit. <laughs> We've got lots of workwear as well, lots of pinstripes and smart trousers. So if you think you're going to need anything like this this year, probably the time to get it. And then from there you've got every single colour jogger imaginable. I think we're going into the more casual wear now. Oh, look at all the jumpers, I love it. Seems to be a new style that's come in by this guy. Not really me, but I do like all the Van Gogh stuff. I wish they did like a just Starry Night um, t-shirt. These would be good if you were going to take a trip to Paris or uh, one of the museums that the artworks in this year. Oh my goodness, and the jumpers, they've got a winter winnie. And oh my goodness, it's a hoodie. I love it. I might have to get it. I'm get it like super oversized to wear at home. I love it. But they seem to have lots of jumper and jogging matching sets because they've got this blue Mickey hoodie and then the matching joggers. They've also got the Winnie in joggers. What's around the other side? Look, there we go. There's the sets and the prices. So it's like a Simba set there. How cool! And then we've got the t shirts. I think they're gradually like putting Disney just around the store rather than giving it a section, which I'm all right with. I'm quite happy that it's just integrated into normal life now. <laughs> but I really like this, um, the boys t-shirt. How much is this one? Six pound. That's not too bad actually. Tom always wishes they did more stuff that's in the girls sections in the men's section. Because Tom would definitely wear this and he definitely could wear a, the girls t-shirt. What are you? Are you everybody? Oh, there's a Winnie the Pooh gang too. There's also a Scooby Doo t shirt. Are you going to Universal? That's cool. It's like the new kind of Scooby Doo. That's £6 too. All the t shirts seem to be £6, which is pretty good. I think they're going back to being reasonable. Sometimes when they went up to like £10, it was a bit much. Oh, it's Marie Tops, only half price. You always have to look out for the ones that would be good for the parts as well, like Fantasia. I always wish it says Fantasmic, but I know Fantasia is the film it's from, but that's still a good one. If you go into Hollywood Studios, £6 as well. And as well as the shows, also time of year, like how cool would that be at Festival of the Arts? Awesome. Oh, this one's half price. The one thing they do put in its own section though is all the Stitch merchandise. This is nice cropped jumper and leggings, but they've also got this whole thing. It's all different Stitch things. <laughs> like, he is super cute, and I do love Stitch, but Stitch is the one that I think they ever do now. But these joggers, however, are £14, not 10 so a bit more expensive as well. Look at some old school Disney. Oh, this is Disney 100. They've got... Wow, that's so cool, and the jumper's so soft. And it's only £12, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's super soft as well. I have this Winnie the Pooh jumper and I love it. This one's so soft as well. Primark's actually doing really good with quality at the moment, so. As well as joggers and jumpers, if you want any colour hoodie under the sun, <laughs> they are here. Somewhere between 
six and ten pounds, depending on what you want. It's something I always get on our way into summer is the shorts. They're only three pound, but they're great for wearing underneath skirts and dresses as like chub rub shorts. This is a nice simple t-shirt and it's only four pounds. It's just got a Mickey in the middle. Like that would look so nice with maybe a patterned skirt or some dungarees or something like that. As a subtle Disney, pretty good for price. And look at this, this is only five pound. It's a full long sleeve t-shirt. Always check the sale rail. This one's only five pound and then I've got a couple more long sleeve things. I'm gonna pick this one up too. Sketch Mickey for three pound long sleeve. Pretty good, pretty good. I found a t-shirt that's caused so much Instagram and Facebook um, discussion. £10 Harry Potter t-shirt. Awesome. But it says Sorcerer's Stone. Where'd you get it? It's a pretty cool t-shirt because it's a Philosopher's Stone poster but it says Sorcerer's Stone which is so American. Here's another cute little t-shirt. Is this one £4 as well? It is. That one's so nice. That's definitely an Animal Kingdom t-shirt. There's lots and lots and lots of different coats. Lots of these puffery kind of waterproof, what I call dog walking coats. And lots of these longer coats and a lot of them are actually on sale. Now there's a massive sale on all things sparkly and all things see-through. I've actually picked this up thinking it might be good for Halloween. It's only £2. So it might be good for Halloween this year, who knows. But all things sparkly from New Year's, they're all on sale. The vest tops and dresses. If you're more of a jacket person, there is lots and lots and lots of these faux leather jackets and lots of these half zip, half proper fluffy jackets. I always like these sections. Nice, cheap, basic tops that you can layer with lots and lots of different things. And I always try and pick up another colour that I've not got. But they always do random things like this. 90s girl. But then keep an eye out for this sign. A pound. Long sleeve stripy t-shirts. This is my style, guys. <laughs> Reductions. However, this used to definitely be my style. Long sleeve t-shirts and leggings was the way I lived. And it was comfy. So I'm glad they're bringing it back. <laughs> but I don't know if I'll be able to do it nowadays. Honestly guys, everything here is so soft. I don't get it, it's so soft. This is honestly the softest thing I've ever felt. And I can't decide if I wanna buy it or not. It's so soft and so nice. What do I do? Do I buy it? I well, didn't come in for this, guys. If someone's got a birthday in January or you just want to treat yourself to something super soft, all of the snuddies are on sale. Look, there's a Mickey one. This one's a love heart that just turns into a pink snuddy. They're so good and they're all on half price. To be honest, a lot of the pyjamas are on half price. Look at this Chip and Dale top. Here goes some more soft things. Ah, oh, so good. More Disney 100. Still fully living off the Barbie movie as well. Lots of Bralettes, pyjamas, they've even got their own snuddy. That's actually Barbie movie official. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> All the munchling stuff has made its way in here too. Disney munchlings, seasonal one, so I'm surprised it's not on sale to be honest. But cinnamon rolls, gingerbread stitches, but also squishmallows. I didn't know they were so popular that they deserved their own snuddy. Something they do do really well is all the pyjamas and I'd always think that you could get away with wearing the tops as t-shirts, definitely. Like this if you like Tom and Jerry, £3. Even this, the little polo Chip and Dale, £3 in the sale because it's without the bottoms. They're definitely good for the pot. Oh, why does that one say 7 Definitely pick up that one instead. <laughs> Here's another amazing birthday present if you've got somebody who wants one. £10 instead of £27. Thumper with a pair of socks as well. They have so many as well. So many. I'm glad to see the cosy pyjamas are still living it strong. Lazy Sunday Club, definitely. £8, which is pretty good. But as much as I love the fluffy pyjamas, I'm happy to see the summer stuff coming in. It means it's going to get warmer. 
We've got some Disney shoes on sale. And if you're talking of Stitch, if you love Stitch, the Converse are on sale. Platform Converse, £10 instead of 18 And they're all fluffy on the inside. But also reduced shoes, all of the boots. You see all the reduced signs? All the boots. If you're still needing some wrap-up for winter things, they've got lots of scarves on the sale for £5. So, And this one, super cute. I really like it. And I also like this one. And if you're into Disney bounding, doesn't this look like the Cheshire Cat? Or Piglet? <laughs> and it's also on the sale for £3. They've got a Mickey version of the Unicoi bag. This is going straight in my basket. <laughs> it's sale for £5. How cool is that? So good for the parks. This bit of the home section always makes me so happy. I think it's so pretty looking. And they're selling off all the Christmas things that's left, I guess. Not too much, to be honest, but lots of these felt um, ornaments. But the home section, the new stuff is definitely full of pinks, blues and creams this year. If I needed a lamp, I'd love this. It's so cute. But I don't need a lamp, but it's really nice. And if this, this is the aesthetic that they're going for this year, then I'm happy for it. Look at this Mickey vase. I don't think it's new, but how cute is that if you're having a fully Disney home? I like these plate sets. I like flowers. How cute are they? Super cute. If you're looking for storage, they've got so much here. All the plastic baskets and the fabric baskets. These are like £3 and the little ones are £1.50 and then you've got these baskets which are like £9 each. This set's pretty good, this is £7 and this is a set of two which is £12. And then same as you get over here, these black ones are £12, £7 and then how much are the bigger ones? Oh this one is flattened down but it's £8. It's one of these big round ones. I don't know if this is new or not either, but look at that! It's a trolley, it's on wheels. On my way to the till, they've got all these heatless curl hair sets. Not too expensive either, three pounds, pretty good. Okay, so two hours and 80 pound later and I'm back in the car. I don't really think I needed half of that. <laughs> that Winnie jumper though was half price, so that's a score. Nothing I bought apart from a pair of jeans that Tom needed was over six pounds. So that's pretty good, it was all in the sale. Um, and I'll give you a haul when I get home. Okay, here we go then. Everything that I bought, I spent 80 pound. Well, 78 pound, <laughs> but I spent 80 pound. Um, two things I left at my mum's house because I knit there on my way home was I bought that uh, netted -y kind of dress um, because it was £2 down from 20 and I thought it would be awesome at Halloween um, because it's obviously all lacy, it's very like Day of the Dead or something like that but definitely would come in um, and I bought my mum, she's going to a fancy dress thing so I bought her some long velvet gloves, they were also a pound so yeah, those are the two things that I left there but on with the haul first thing, down from £3 to £1 Purple cap. Thought in the summer, I've got short hair now. I never used to like it with my long hair, but I thought with the short hair now, I might be into caps. It definitely needs padding out, but I always get the sun in my eyes and I'm not really a sunglasses person, so who knows? We'll see. <laughs> I bought the Uniqlo dupe of the bag for the Mickey dupe. It's so good. It looks amazing. Um, it looks waterproof. It looks like it'd be great for the parts and just day to day. It's got the pocket at the front. Uh, it hasn't got any pocket. Oh, it does. It has a pocket on the inside too. So three compartments, which is great. Um, and obviously it'll get longer, but this is imagine in the parks. And then I bought two of the tops that were a pound. These are the stripy turtleneck ones. These are very, very me. <laughs> um, I just wear long sleeve t-shirts and jeans in the winter um, and then transition to skirts and shorts but I got the grey one and the white one. These have gone down from six, six pound or nine dollars <laughs> to um, one pound so there was no way I was leaving that behind. I then got some already and got some flip-flops because they were 50p. I bought Tom some jeans because he needs some more jeans. 
Um, so they were only thing apart from uh, some underwear for us that wasn't in the sale. So they were £14, which I think jeans have got so expensive. But anyway, he needed some more jeans, so I bought him some more jeans. Oh, sorry, and these. I bought some fresh pillowcases for us for the new year. I thought they were nice because they had the pattern on. So these can go underneath because I want to start making our beds look nicer. Um, and if our beds look nice, it will make me want to make the bed in the morning to make it look nice. So textured pillowcases and things like that and multiple pillowcases and pillows and cushions will make it look nice. And then as I said, underwear. These were the most expensive things out of the whole thing, bar the jeans. Um, so the pants cost the same amount of the bag. My pants cost £7 for three pairs. Girls' underwear is insane. And then I bought five pairs of socks for £3. So that was pretty good. But underwear is expensive. This one was my best find because it didn't have a sale sticker on it. It was just on the sale rack. So this dress was with all those other sparkly things, but no one was buying it because it doesn't have a sticker on it and it still says £22. So I still have my size. Yay! <laughs> I now have something I can wear if someone invites me to a party. But I can also wear it like with the top underneath. So pretty good, pretty good. This was six or five. Something like that. Five or six pounds, but no one was buying it because it still said 22 So if it's by the rejections. Definitely ask. I then bought myself another hat because I'm obsessed. <laughs> this was two pound down from 4.50. I bought the Mickey long sleeve top that I showed you. So this is just good for the winter. Me or Tom could wear this as well. So we like sharing Disney clothes. We don't have, we have lots, but we don't have loads and loads and loads. And lots of them are just t-shirts. So we definitely can share. And then I got some little things that I can give as gifts. So like stocking fillers for throughout the year that's not going in the stocking. So I got these socks because they were reduced as well and they are super cosy and I got these princess uh, makeup removers. I then got this and I know it's an extra large but I thought it doesn't matter. I thought it will be a, it will be a look. Um, but I bought this cropped, cropped shirt, long sleeved. I always find sleeves too short for me as well so the extra large makes them long enough. Um, but it was £12 down to 3 Rita Ora collection seems to be all in the sale, but I couldn't find the jumper that I really wanted before Christmas that no one bought me. That's what I really was looking for in the Rita Ora bit, but I couldn't find it. Never mind. <laughs> and then lastly, the thing I was willing to pay full price for, my Winnie the Pooh hoodie, which I bought in a large because I wanted it to be big and baggy. Turns out it was £12. Secret in the sale, not mentioned anywhere six pound half price so i'm happy with that he looks like me i wear a red scarf when i wear this so super cozy and i just love green at the moment so two favorite things i then also got um but they're just in the kitchen now those yellow storage boxes i bought two of the larger ones and two of the smaller ones and i'm going to try and organize my kitchen cupboards so fingers crossed that I, I managed to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is everything. So I hope you enjoyed coming along to Primark with me. But I'm just going to end the video here because it's been a long one. I spent two and a half hours in Primark. So um, I hope you saw something that you like that you're not going to go to Primark to get. And I helped you spend all your, of your January paycheck. <laughs> um, but otherwise, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you've seen anything that you want. If you buy anything and wear it to Disney, please let me know. One, where you when you're going. One, when you're going. Two, which thing you bought and what park you're planning to wear it in because I definitely had some park inspo even though I don't have a trip booked. Um, but yeah, just let me live through you if you're going to the parks. But also if you have any holiday planned or if you have any travel plans or any anything plans, we have a couple of theatre trips booked. I've got one with my mum as well, which I'm excited for at the end of the month. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I hope you're having a great start to your January and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.